I want you to go back. If you have not watched it, go back to M for Merciful, E, Elected for Elevation, before we get into G, Grace to Gravitate Towards Greater. Let's get into it. Listen. y'all welcome back to ascending with jamie alexander it's your girl jamie alexander here where we talk about all things faith prayer and love finances and prophecy so i'm excited about ascending in these areas with you one step at a time with the holy spirit with the word of god with prayer and with consecration and worship listen i'm so excited for this theme we've been on may is mega may is m-e-g-a and the Lord has, and the Holy Spirit and the Lord has given me such a word for each letter. And it's not just only for the month of May. I heard clearly that this is just a pivotal point, a starting point for this next season that we're embarking to know that we need the mercy of God. Okay. We're going to need the M, the mercy of God to get through this next season, to know that E, we are elected to elevate. We do not have to stay in the same place we're in. And G you guessed it, today's message, grace to gravitate to greater. My God, go ahead, get your Bibles, get your pen, get your notebook, get your highlighters, and let's dig into the word. So we can see that the theme we've been talking about lately has been David, has been King David, how he has been the one to ask God for mercy so many times in the book of Proverbs and Psalms. Um, we see that in for E, elected for elevation, he was elected to go and fight Goliath, even as he went to go take his brother some lunch. And it could have, that, that did, not could have, it did upset his brother. And now we see that in G, G, God has graced David to do greater things, to gravitate towards greater. And I just want to break down that message real quick. Let this message encourage you. Um, but before we go into deeper, go ahead, like, subscribe, get that notif notification bell dinged off so that you can catch every single video that we're getting ready to release this year. Why? Because God is ascending us. When you think about grace, what comes to mind? You think you can think about um, favor. You can think about kindness. You can think about, you know, the love of God, compassion. Um, but based off the biblical definition in the um, Blue Letter Bible app, you can study and show that the word grace, strong H means Hebrew word, root word. 2580 means favor, kindness, acceptance. And so when we see grace to gravitate to greater, we want to keep in mind that what God is doing in this next season, God has favored you and I. God has shown kindness. He's shown um, the capacity of forgiveness, regardless of the past, regardless of your our mistakes. In this next season, God is setting us up to have favor. Why? To gravitate to greater. What does gravitate mean? So gravitate wasn't in the Bible. So I had to do a Google search. And I realized that the meaning for gravitate means to move toward or be attracted to a place, person, or thing. To move toward something. I'm going to say it again. So and just in case you're taking notes. To gravitate means to move toward or be attracted to a place, thing, or people. Amen? And so the Lord is gracing us. He is getting ready to show us favor. He is getting ready to show us little kindness. He's getting ready to show us an acceptance to gravitate, to be drawn to be desireful. The Bible says that I will give you the desires of my heart. So the desires in our heart, God is going to show kindness and favor towards those things that we always been wanting. He's going to show us that acceptance. He has said, you know what? 
I've accepted that desire in my will. God's will is in the word of God. So if those desires are in the word of God, the prophetic word on today is God says yes. God has accepted those desires by his grace and by you by the by the uh, getting ready of the gravitational pull. God says yes to the acceptance of that desire because that he placed that desire there that is in your heart. So get ready. Get ready in this next season. Some of you probably have already can testify to this word. Um, but if it is in this season, if it's you right now, go ahead, type it in the comments. It's me. I'm already seeing it. But for those that have not seen it yet, in this next season, God is getting ready to show favor, to show kindness towards you in that thing in your heart. He's going to get, he's getting ready to accept your request. Um, going to greater i'm breaking these words down because i want us to get an understanding of the text and the scripture that we're getting ready to read and the message that the lord is trying to relate over to the body of christ and so when we see the word greater now i thought it was odd i thought it was odd to see two definitions of greater and i it made sense because out of the scripture it was it was first chronicles 11 and 9 First Chronicles 11 and 9 says, so David waxed greater and greater for the Lord of hosts was with him. So David waxed greater and greater for the Lord of hosts was with him. Who is this Lord of hosts? This is the name. Let me break down the scripture. First Chronicles 11 and 9. The name Lord of hosts is Jehovah Sabaoth or Yahweh Sabaoth. That is one of God's names. Like, you know, when we ask God to be a provider, we say, you know, Jehovah Jireh. When we need God to heal our bodies, we say Jehovah Rapha. So I realized that what King David did in this moment of him waxing greater and greater, it was the Lord of hosts that he trusted. It was Jehovah Sabaoth that he called up on. It was Yahweh Sabaoth that he called up on. And so if you want practical tips, get ready to write down, you know, practical tips. Well, how did David wax greater and greater? I'm glad you asked. David was a man of worship. David was a man who knew how to evoke the spirit of the living God. King David was a man that um, he begged for mercy, even though he had a messed up and jacked up life. Okay, no judgment. Again, no judgment because we all had moments in our lives that the Lord would be like, my child, my child, what am I going to do with them? Hey, and if it ain't you, I know it's definitely me, but by the grace and mercy of God, we can come to his throne of grace with boldness and confidence. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And so, Back to the scripture. Day King David waxed greater and greater because he knew how to invoke the spirit of God. He was a man of worship, okay? And he knew how to trust the Lord of hosts, the Lord of angel armies. And so I want us to be practical as we are praying for the rest of this month, for the rest of the year, for the rest of our life. If we want to see, if we want to see greater, if we want God to continue to initiate the grace to gravitate to greater. We call on the name of Jehovah Sabaoth. We call on the name of Yahweh Sabaoth, um, the Lord of hosts, that he can fight the things that we cannot fight in the, in the earth realm. Amen. That we can wax greater and greater. And by definition, we see that the word wax means to proceed, to keep going. So this is not something that God is not trying to do a one night stand with us, okay? God is not trying to be a one hit wonder. God's saying, I want to keep this thing going. I want to keep this thing going, amen? And we're just going to go into some ways down the lesson. If you just keep listening, keep tuning in on ways to how this keep this thing going. What God is getting ready to initiate, you want this thing to keep going. You don't want it to stop. You don't want to have no delay. You don't want it to be cut off. You don't want to have disruption. We're going to pray against that. Let there be no disruption. Let there be no stop. Let there be no blockage. 
in the blessing that God is getting ready to release over our lives. Amen. Because this is God's doing. And speaking of God's doing, we want to um, go back to those definitions. Remember what I said? I saw two definitions for greater in the in the um, Blue Dotted Bible app for that scripture. First Chronicles 11 and 9. It says, so David waxed greater and greater. So greater was a definition by itself and greater was a whole definition by itself. Amen. And so I wanted to break down those two definitions, those two words, because because when I saw the definition of the first greater, I was like, it means to go, to proceed, to walk. And I was like, okay, how does that play in what I'm getting ready to teach and what God, what you're getting ready to tell me? And when I looked up that second portion and greater, it means to intensify of importance. And I was like, Lord, this is so good. God, when we put it all together, you're telling us we are getting ready to be favored. You're getting ready to show kindness. You're getting ready to accept the desires in our heart to be attracted to the thing that we are wanting, that person, that place that we are desiring you have given your yes over to it and if you, you telling us that we just keep proceeding if we keep going if we keep trusting oh i hear you holy ghost if we keep believing if we keep being hopeful if we're keep walking by faith and not by sight and we're going to wax greater and greater. We're going to see, hallelujah, the anticipation. We're going to see the importance of the matter of this thing. Mm, I don't know about y'all, but that blessed my socks off. That blessed me so good. That blessed me so good. Amen. To the point where David wasn't the only one in the Bible that experienced this and wax greater moment. Hallelujah. And I hear prophetically here, you won't be the you won't be the only one to experience a wax greater. Then King David won't be the only one in the Bible that can say, Hallelujah, that he wax greater. Hallelujah. Isaac, Abraham's son. Won't be the only one to say that he wax greater and greater. Put your name in the atmosphere. Jamie Alexander is getting ready to wax greater and greater. Hallelujah. Put your name in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Tiffany is getting ready to wax greater and greater. Hallelujah. Larry is going to wax greater and greater. Hallelujah. Denise is going to wax greater and greater. Hallelujah. Put your name in the atmosphere on this day. Hallelujah. Whenever you're watching this and tell the Lord so Blank, your name waxed greater and greater because of the Lord of hosts, because of Jehovah Sabaoth. Amen. Let's go back to that point of reference where Isaac, it is in Genesis 26, 13. Genesis 26, 13. Isaac himself, and it says, and the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. How did Isaac do this? Well, if you read, um, do your due diligence and read that whole chapter, Isaac sowed in the land during a famine. Roba sete. Hallelujah. These are now the practical steps that the Holy Spirit is wanting to share with you in the body of Christ on today. That you we're gonna have to partner with God financially. You probably be like, oh, well, the pastor's going to run my money and they trying to build a church with my money that it's not our business. OK, we want to we want to covenant with God financially. There is a famine here and it's going to intensify. And in order for us to survive, I'm speaking to the Christians. I'm speaking to the believers. If you are not a believer, bypass this message. But I'm talking to those that have received Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your heart. I'm speaking to those that have confessed out of their mouth and they believe in their heart that Jesus Christ raised from the dead. I'm speaking to those that follow the principles and teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If that is you, we have to get an alignment with tithing. We have to partner with God. We have to come in covenant with God financially so that we will be all right. Well, we, we will be um, set up financially. Genesis 26, 13, Isaac waxed greater and greater because he sowed in the time of famine. 
He sold in the time of famine. You probably say, well, Jamie, my check is not a lot. This is going to have to be an act of faith. This is going to have to be an act of faith because why? God is going to grace you to gravitate. If your desire is wanting to give, if your desire is, I really want to give my 10%, I really just want to be a cheerful giver, God says, I'm going to grace you. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that desire and I'm going to give you greater. Now, it probably comes with a promotion. Some of us are, I hear you, Holy Spirit. God's saying there are two group of people in this scenario. Group A, if this is you, God is saying he's going to give you increase financially so that you can give. Because some of your excuses are, my check is not enough. Or some of your excuses are, I got more month than money. Some of your excuses are, I don't have the time, I don't have enough money to give. So God said, okay, I'm going to get ready to get a promotion. Get ready for a financial increase so that there will be no excuse why you should not partner with me financially to do what it is that I'm trying to do in the earth because God sees already what's getting ready to take in place in 2025, 2030, 2031, 2035, and so forth. Then there's a group of people, group B, who's God is saying, I want to test your faith and you're going to have to give from a place where you already are. He's testing your faith to see if you can just trust him to do it with the little that you have in the famine. Amen. And so we just bless the Lord that if you are in part group A or if you are in group B, I want you to just trust God in this moment to be able to have your family and your household financially set with no worries, with no issues during the famine, because unfortunately things are going to get worse. So question, what did these men do to wax greater and greater? I'm glad you asked. Let's pause and let's diagnose both men, King David and Isaac. We again, we already know that King David was a man after God's own heart, okay? We already know that David was a worshiper, okay? We know that in spite of David messing up his mistakes, he repented and he fell back in alignment with, in alignment with God. He did not continue to stay in the midst of sin. He did not continue to stay in his dark state. He trusted God. God showed him grace and mercy, and he kept that thing going, okay? So write those practical things down. Always have a heart of repentance, okay? Always be in a place of worship, regardless of how the situation feels. Be able to worship God. And three, be able to know that you can evoke the spirit of God and call on the name of the Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sabaoth, hallelujah, Yahweh Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Those are practical ways to wax greater and greater um, when it comes to King David lifestyle that God honored. And then when we look at Isaac, a practical step for Isaac was he sowed in the land of famine and he waxed greater and greater every year. So those are the practical steps that I want the ascending family to look at, to have practical strategy on how we're going to ascend, how we're going to go from this level and how God is going to take us to the next level. Because these are the things that the Holy Spirit is looking for. Who's going to be obedient to the strategy who's going to be obedient to be a highlander who is going to come and ascend with the spirit of god so that whatever the enemy is trying to do down here we've already ascended it can't touch us we're already above we're already high we are already escaped the things or whatever it is that's going to be going down here because of the people that did not believe or that's been in disobedience ascending family hear me by the lord we're going to, we are ascending. We are ascending and we're going to ascend through these steps. Amen. Amen. And last but not least, I want us to be able to understand that our obedience is what's going to get this through. Don't just listen to the message. The Bible says to be hearers and doers of the word as well. 
we see and you read your scriptures on your own for due diligence um, to study to show yourself approved. But I want you to also keep in mind that as we are doing these things, it is not by works. Okay. Because why? Going back to the beginning, our first word was what? Grace. It is by grace that we are saved and not by our works, lest one shall boast. Okay. What God is getting ready to do in our lives, I hear your Holy Spirit. It is because of his grace. Many of us have messed up down the line. Many of us do not deserve what God is getting ready to do. He's getting ready to blow our minds. But the simple fact that, hallelujah, God has said, I accept the desire. I accept the prayer request because it aligns with my word. I'm going to great. I'm going to show you favor to do that thing. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer, people of God. This was a heavy word. This was a thick word. But I believe if you continue to watch it and you continue to read the scriptures and you put in the practical steps and you follow the strategy that the Holy Spirit gave us through these two men, King David and Isaac, we will see that not only May is mega, but the rest of our lives will be mega because of the mercy of God. He has elected us to elevate and he has graced us to gravitate to greater. People of God, God doesn't want us or he doesn't take in a desire to see us low. He wants us to keep ascending. Amen. And so we're going to trust God to ascend us to higher heights as he promised us in his word. Amen. So let's go to God in prayer, people of God. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for this word on today. I thank you for the ascending family as they take notes, as they hear the message, as they put the practical steps in place, oh Lord, that they will wax greater and greater. We call on the name of Jehovah Sabaoth. We call on the name of Yahweh Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, to be our fighter, to be our mantle maker, to be the one to go before us, hallelujah, and to make this thing into place. God, we receive your grace. It is not by our works is nothing we have done, thought, or said on our own that could have made you initiate this blessing that is getting ready to hit our lives, our family. But God, we receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, anyone that is trying to, Father God, ruin this word or keep this word from happening. Father God, we bind up the strong man in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we arrest the spirit, oh God, that is keeping the spirit of delay intact. We break and sever, annihilate, and Father God, disarm and dismantle every spirit, oh God, of darkness that would try to keep this word from pushing forth. God, we call on the Lord of hosts. Let the Lord of hosts surround this prayer and this word hallelujah to go forth and break generational curses to go forth and do great exploits in the earth oh God we call on the Lord of hosts we call on Jehovah Sabaoth we call on Yahweh Sabaoth to go before us hallelujah to make every crooked place straight and we thank you now that you would get the glory because you have graced us to gravitate to greater we are ready for greater in Jesus name we pray amen amen if you are ready for greater say i am ready for greater in the comments amen hallelujah thank you so much for joining us on this week of the may is mega theme and series where we're talking about m-e-g-a merciful elected to elevate amen g grace to gravitate to greater and next week be on the uh, lookout for a, as we finish this series, anointed for the announcements. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share. Share this message. If you felt this message and you know that it is you in line to receive your greater, go ahead and share this channel out to your family, your friends, the lost loved one, or the lost colleague at work so that they too can ascend. Amen. Love you all with the love of Christ. Until next time. Bye.